Hi, thanks for joining me today for our gentle home workout. You don't need any equipment. I recommend wearing a supportive pair of running shoes. So let's get started. We'll just um, place our palms on our lower ribs for a couple deep breaths. Filling up the lungs with some fresh oxygen. Big exhale out. Let those arms come down to your sides. Roll your shoulders up and back. And let's get started with our warm up. We're going to march on the spot. For today's workout, we will be doing a warm up, some strength based exercises, and a cool down. Remember to go at your own pace, take a break whenever you need to, and modify. So keep moving those feet, marching on the spot. We're going to make fists in front of our chest, just a light fist. And then alternating arms, slow punch forward. Punch, punch, punch. Keep going. Strong arms. Think about standing nice and tall. Pause with both fists in front of your chest. Now we're going to do both arms at the same time. Keep marching your feet. Punch, punch, punch. Keep going. A couple more like this. Pause. Bring those fists beside your shoulders. Back to alternating arms. We're going to punch up to the ceiling. And punch, punch. Keep it going. One more each side. Bring those fists back beside your shoulders and now both arms at the same time. Punching up to the ceiling. Punch, punch. Keep it going. Couple more. Bring your arms down, roll the shoulders. Let's start tapping our feet out to the side. Tapping out to the side. Continue with your side-to-side -side taps. Bring your forearm and forearms and your palms together in front. And each time you tap out to the side, let's open the arms. Open, open. Thinking about the back of the shoulders, upper back muscles, scapula or shoulder blades pulling back. As the chest lifts, we're wide across the collarbones. Four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down, come back to your march. Thinking about standing tall, engagement of your uh, lower abdominals, core, core engagement. From here, we're gonna bring our feet a little bit wider. So keep marching with your feet wide and then come down into a little bit of a crouch. We've got a wide-legged march coming down low, getting those leg muscles warmed up. Keep your feet wide as you extend your legs and then come back to your regular march. We'll go through that routine one more time. Feet come wide, come down low, pumping your arms. Keep those feet wide, you can straighten your legs and then coming back to your march. For our last warm-up exercise, we're going to do fast feet. So we just keep marching and we're going to just move our feet a little bit faster. From here, you might come into that crouch position again, continuing with fast feet. Staying here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand tall and march, regular march. One more set of fast feet. Here we go. Moving those feet fast, maybe coming down to a little crouch. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing tall, march it out, roll the shoulders back one time. Let's plant our feet. Inhale, reach your arms to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down nice and warmed up. 
let's uh, move into our strength exercises. So we're going to start with our um, feet hip width apart or maybe just slightly wider. We're going to do um, in a moment an alter alternating between a squat and a tap to the side with the legs. So we can clasp our hands in front. Coming down to your squat, hips move back like there's a chair behind you. I'm keeping my chest lifted and eyes forward and then straighten the legs. And again, back to your squat and straighten knees, stay over top of the ankles. I'll just show you that from a side view. So it's about hips coming back and lifting. Adding on that tap to the side, we're going to squat, come up, tap to the side. Bring your foot down, squat, lift, and tap. Next add-on is arms out to the side. So I'm clasping hands as I come down to my squat, and as I tap my foot out to the side, lifting arms out to the side to about my shoulder height or less. See how low you can come in your squat if it feels okay for your joints. You can come nice and low. If you have knee or other joint issues, then just make it a smaller move. Next option, you could lift your foot right out to the side. As we lift, foot could come right out to the side. So a little bit of a balance component here. Um, you're, you may prefer to stay with the tap, or you can add that leg out to the side. We'll do one more each side. Nice work, and then give everything a little shake. So we're gonna do a couple of lunge variations. Lunges are great for strengthening the legs. I want you to find a wall or, or a countertop, some support to be close to or to keep your hand on the whole time. There's a little bit of a balance component with, with lunges. For our first variation, we're going to alternate um, stepping back. We'll start with just a smaller step back and then we'll go into a, a bigger lunge move. So let's start with the hand on the wall and we're going to step back and then bring the foot forward and alternate. So as I said, we're just starting with a small move. Stepping back, land on your toe. And then you can either keep your hand on the wall or have your arms at your sides. And as you step back, reach your arms forward. And then you decide how far back you want to step. This might feel great right here. You might feel like you want to go a little bit farther into more of a lunge. We're landing on that back toe, keeping the heel lifted, maybe bending into knees a bit more as we come down. So lots of options. Keeping upper body upright. And because there's a balance component, you could always keep your vision focused on one spot. And let's go one more each side. Stepping forward. Again, you could put your hand on your support. We're now going to step back. Let's take our right foot step back. So either with your hand on a support, or you could have your hands on your hips if you're feeling pretty balanced. Focus on the back leg here. We're gonna keep our feet planted as they are. Back knee is gonna bend a little bit more toward the floor, and then extend that back leg. And again, keep going. Remember, you can always have your hand on your support, and your breathing. And if you feel those shaky legs, I can feel my legs shaking a little bit here. That's all good. That means we're getting stronger. One more here, and then let's step forward. 
Uh, left foot steps back, now other side, switch sides. Again, that back knee comes down and straighten. And keep going. And we've got two more here. And then we'll step forward. Nice work. Give those legs a little shake. All right, another one focusing on uh, leg strength. We're gonna do a wall sit. And this is a good strengthening exercise. If uh, for anybody who has um, some joint issues, especially knee issues, because we get in position, stay there, it's isometric hold. So I'm gonna find a piece of wall, put my hips up against the wall, and then I'm gonna start to inch my feet, walk my feet forward. And you decide how far you want to go down. So you might come just a little ways, that might be enough, back against the wall, or you could come a little bit further down into your seated position. Once you get there, you're just going to lean your back against the wall, and we just stay here and breathe. <laughs> right away, you're going to feel these quadriceps firing up, lots of strength here. Focus on your breath, and we're staying here for eight, seven, six five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. And lift yourself up. All right, let's do some cool down stretches. So standing tall with your feet hip width apart or maybe a little bit closer. Let's inhale arms to the ceiling. Bring our palms to touch. Side bend over to one side. So we're not coming forward or back. We're going straight over to the side, thinking about opening up through the ribs, through the hip, through the whole side of the body. Have another breath here, and then coming up to center, over to your other side. Pause here for a couple breaths, this should feel great. Coming back up to center, let those arms come down, turning sideways to your wall or your support. I want you to bring um, one foot behind, land on your toe. This time we're going for a nice opening through the front of the hip flexor into your quadricep. So think about um, squaring your hips forward. Don't let that hip come back. Square your hips forward. And then just gently um, bringing that hip forward of the stretched leg. And breathe tall upper body. Bring the foot forward and we'll do the other side. Other foot comes back, land on your toe, square the hips forward. Nice stretch here. Step your foot forward. You can stay where you are with your hand on, on the wall. Outside leg, we're going to lift the knee hand on your knee and gently pull that knee towards your chest a little bit more. Nice full breaths. Staying here, circle at your ankle. Circle that foot one direction and then the other direction. Pause, point and flex. And foot comes down. And let's turn around to the other side. We're staying with the hand on the support and lifting the knee. Pull that knee a little more towards your chest, stretching out the glutes. Circle your ankle and then go the other way. Point and flex. And foot comes down. On your next inhale, let's plant our feet first under our hips. And on your next inhale, lift the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, let the shoulders fall away. Relax those neck and upper back muscles. Again, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale down. One more like that. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Release all the tension. We'll finish with one full breath as our arms reach up to the ceiling. Big inhale. 
and exhale. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short home workout. Um, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and comment below as to how this was for you. Have a great day.